are now just 11 days left in 2022. And this morning we are working for your money with three sensible planning moves that you can make to improve your finances in 2023. So we got our money expert Bruce Helmer from Wealth Enhancement Group joining us this morning. Hey, Bruce. Good morning. Yeah, I love love the whole outfit there. Channeling. Christmas. <laughs> so. Thank you. We appreciate yes. it. Okay, let's get straight into those three moves. How did you come up with them? Well, we actually surveyed a bunch of our advisors and got uh, opinions from a lot of people. And then we took the most frequent answers and we narrowed it down to the top three. So the, the, the big one I want to start with is um, about listening to us, about listening not just to the media, but fear. There's a lot of uh, uh, people in my industry that, that market fear, um, the, the volatility of the stock market. And really, volatility is not something we need to fear. If you're a long-term investor, it, prevent, it presents opportunity. You can buy when the market's low if you're a long-term investor, which you should have been doing in 2022. Keep contributing to your 401k plan. You're buying at a discount. There's also an opportunity maybe to harvest losses. That's a more complicated strategy that I don't know if I want to explain in detail this morning. But there's planning opportunities with volatility. It's not necessarily something to, to fear. And I know I'm in the media, so I'm kind of picking on myself. But I've always said to people, um, if the Dow goes down 800 points, I will inevitably get phone calls from the media to comment. But if it goes up 800 points, my phone doesn't ring at all. So the media likes to talk about the bad stuff more than the good stuff. Yeah, well, that's the scary part, right? That's what we right. think about. But uh, OK, let's do number two. Yeah. Uh, advisor. And I know there are people, everyone watching is going to say, well, you can't be objective. You are an advisor. But, but the reason I got into this business is because I, it's in my nature to want to help people. And I recognize the fact that people that use a financial advisor statistically do better than those that don't. And don't take my word for it. There's, there's, there's a ton of studies. Uh, Vanguard has done studies, the University of Princeton. There's a company out of Chicago called Delbar that does a lot of research on this. Even the Consumer Federation of America. So if you do your homework, do, go Google, do your research, other people besides financial advisors like me are saying that financial advisors can help improve your situation. And then so I always ask myself, given that, if you accept that premise, why don't more people use an advisor? And I'm not sure. I think it's a variety of different things. I think sometimes people think they can have all the answers and they can do it themselves. Maybe they're afraid of the cost. Maybe they're not sure who they can trust. Maybe they're embarrassed to share their situation because they think they've made some bad choices and they don't want anyone to laugh at them. I don't know. But if you don't have an advisor, I encourage people to consider getting an advisor. In about 30 seconds, tell us about that third move. Visualization. I'm a big believer in visualizing. Ask yourself, where do I want to be in five years or 10 years? When do I want to retire? What does that look like when I retire? See it in your mind's eye and then get pictures and put them around the house. If you want to have a, a, a snowbird place, get pictures of that location and put it up and think about it and see it and visualize it every day. I think you greatly enhance your chances of following your plan and achieving those dreams and goals. Yeah. Like it's your speak it into existence there you idea. Go. There you go. <laughs> One step at a time. Yeah. All Thanks right, so, Bruce. <laughs> Thanks so much, Bruce. Of course, you can see Bruce here on Mid Morning on Tuesdays and get more financial advice on his show, Your Money, on WCCO Radio. Tune in Sunday mornings at 8 a.m.